In problem number 56 of section 4.2, we calculate the integral of uh, e to the 3x minus e to the 2x over e to the 2x minus 1. Now, the first thing we'll do is just simplify it a little bit. Of integral, and then now in the numerator, we can factor out uh, e to the 2x of e to the 2x times we're left with e to the x minus 1. And we have e to the 2x minus 1 in the denominator. Now, uh, we can uh, Hmm. Right, so in the denominator we can uh, factor e to the 2x minus 1. And it becomes e to the x plus 1 times e to the x minus 1. And now we can cancel out uh, e to the x minus 1 in both the numerator and the denominator which leaves us with the integral of e to the 2x over e to the x plus 1 dx. Now, uh, first we're going to apply, well, we're going to apply a couple steps. First step will be a substitution, and then we'll apply integration by parts to the result that we get after, um, after making a substitution. Uh, so, uh, instead of using the variable u, I'm going to, use y so that we can save the u and use it for integration by parts. So if we let y equal um, e to the x, and if we rewrite our integral as e to the x uh, times e to the x instead of e to the x squared, uh, we see that y is equal to e to the x and dy is equal to e to the x dx. So uh, we can rewrite this in terms of y as the integral of y over y plus 1. And we have e to the x dx is equal to dy. So we have dy. So now we can compute this um, simpler integral and use integration by parts. So let's let u equal y. And we have du equals dy. And we'll let dv equal 1 over y plus 1. Now, this means that v is equal to the natural log of the absolute value of y plus 1. But if we look, we see that y is just equal to e to the x, and we're adding 1, so our result's going to be positive. So we can to just drop the absolute value signs. We can now use uh, integration by parts and see that this is equal to well, u times v or y times the natural log of y plus 1. And subtract the integral of v du, which is natural log of y plus 1 dy. So finally we'll compute the last integral and then substitute in uh, the value e to the x for y. Uh, the integral of the natural log is, um, well, it can be shown that it's equal to, uh, in this case, y plus 1 times the natural log of y plus 1 um, minus value y plus 1. And of course, we'll need to add a constant. And if we simplify this, we get y times the natural log of y plus 1 minus y times the natural log of y plus 1. minus the natural log of y plus 1 uh, plus let's see, plus y. And we can just write plus c and re, uh, readjust our value of the constant so we don't have to 
add the plus one. So the new, our new value of C is just equal to the old value of C plus one. So the first two terms cancel out. And we finally have negative natural log of y plus 1 uh, plus y plus c.